Welcome my digital nomads. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to remove a watermark from your video without blur. Make sure you watch all the way through because I'm going to show you how to do it for free. There's a simple trick to this and you have to follow all the steps. Otherwise it won't work. Well, the very first thing you need to do is to click on the link in the description. It'll have the a link it will contain the written instructions of this video as well as the link to the software and once you get to the software you just enter in your email address and sign up now this is a one-time free trial but if you watch all the way through i'll show you a secret method to continue using it for free now the first thing you want to do is upload the video that has the watermark i'm going to use this test video with this huge watermark right here Okay. So there's no, no question that this will work with a smaller watermark, but I, I made it larger intentionally. And then what you do is you click on the AI model, select the brush size. I like to make it bigger so I can just do it one swoop. Uh, I'm not very good with delicate work. So I'm just going to go ahead and broadly highlight what I want to remove. And that's good enough. It doesn't have to be perfect. Once it's highlighted, you click on remove object and then you let it run. This is the web app. There's nothing to install. They do have the mobile version of this and they do have a install, you know, a software that you can install on Windows. But I found the web app to be the most easiest to use, most convenient to use, and, and also the most uh, effective. You're welcome to experiment. I, I prefer the web app. It definitely seems to work better for some odd reason. Now, this being a web app, it's good since you don't have to install anything. And if you ever lose your device, let's say you know, your computer or laptop that you're working on, you don't lose the tools. So you can go ahead and log into any public computer and continue where you left off. The downside though, unfortunately, is because it's a web app, it might take some time because it depends on uh, where you are, like how fast your internet speed is, as well as the traffic that goes to this website. So if a lot of people, are using this um, web application, it might cause it to run slower. But other than that, I think it's a good trade-off. Uh, I switched to using almost entirely all web-based software applications. And there are times right now that it, it runs slow. For the most part, I find that it, it's it's great because anytime I switch computer, I don't have to install a thousand drivers and make sure that everything's running, especially if you're on a Windows. It's almost like a part-time job to get everything up and running sometimes, <laughs> especially if you have to reinstall a lot of software. It, it, it's unnecessarily painful. After switching from Windows 10 to 11 and then changing computers and, and devices several times, I, I got tired of... of uninstalling and reinstalling uh, different softwares, entering the keys, up, updating drivers, uploading drivers, and it, it was just painful. In the end, I switched to this all web-based software system and web-based toolkit. And for the most part, I think that the upsides, like I mentioned earlier, the convenience and the security of, of not having to worry about losing the actual device. If you, if you lose your laptop or if there's an outage or someone steals your stuff, especially when you travel, it, it, it works out well. And then there's a couple of times in the pinch I've had to work on a phone. I've had to work on a tablet. I've had to work through different operating systems. And it's proven to be very versatile and, and very convenient. Now, I couldn't do that if, for example, if I installed a software that only worked on one device. I'm going to let it run. And when it's done, I'm going to come back and show you the results. It's finally done. It took a few minutes. And I want to show you the results. See, as you can see, there is no blur. Let me zoom out. No blur whatsoever. And it looks perfectly natural. And that huge watermark was removed. And now you have a watermark free video. Now it works on different sizes and uh, your mileage may vary because this is AI tool. It's always improving, always developing. Now let me show you the trick I was going to talk to you about. So this when you sign in, you only have basically one credit for one video, and then you have to either upgrade or sign in again. And that becomes really tedious if you have to do this over and over again. So let me show you what I mean by that. So if I want to upload a new file, I click on upload here, and I'm going to click on this, and then I click on remove object. See, it's locked out. It won't let me 
it won't let me do this and it'll force me to an upgrade. But the way to get around it is you log out, sign out, okay, and then you go to the the temporary email service, but do not use temp mail. Now, let me show you what I mean by that. Okay, so they're going to be, this is the site you should go to, all right? And the reason why I, I, I'm recommending this temporary email as opposed to other ones is because you get an actual email account. The other e temporary email addresses, you get some wonky email addresses. And what's happening now is that many websites are getting smarter and they're banning, they're outright banning you and they'll see the tar the temp mail and they'll they'll band it. So save yourself the trouble. Use this one. This is the best. You just it gives you a legit email account, all right? And then from there, you click log in. You go to create an account. You enter your temp mail. It doesn't matter what password you you, you put. You can type in password one two. Yeah, it doesn't really matter because you're only going to be using it for one one time. Then you go ahead and create the account. And then now you can go ahead and upload another video and do the same thing. Let me just show you that it works all the way. And then now it's unlocked and you, you got a shot. And then you just rinse and repeat and do the same thing over and over again. Give it a try. But this is much better than what was uh, the originally the old method and old techniques that are on, online right now. This is much better using the AI tool. It, it, you don't see any blur whatsoever. So... I hope this video was helpful, and if it was, could you please hit the like button? Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.